won four Olympic gold medals in the 1996 Summer Games in Atlanta. She won two more after that, six total. You may not know that the Cherry Creek High School alum from CSU, Amy Van Dyken, did all that while suffering with severe asthma. It's good to visit with Amy again. She joins us live in Phoenix to talk about her life, the Summer Olympics, and many other topics. Good morning, Amy. Hey, Tom. How are you? I'm good. It's good to see you again. It's been a long time. Uh, l let's catch up a little bit. What are you doing nowadays? Uh, well, now I'm enjoying retirement. Um, <laughs> so is Tom. He's driving me crazy, but <laughs> it's all good. We're having fun out here in Arizona, getting ready to head out to London for the Olympics. And, of course, as you mentioned this morning, we're talking about allergic asthma, which in Denver, and I know mid-80s today, you've got stuff blooming everywhere. So I know everyone out there is suffering with allergies as well. Yeah, when you talk about asthma, I think a lot of people would see that as a detriment to becoming an Olympic swimmer. Originally, it was something you were told to do as something to, to get you uh, healthier than you were. Yeah, that's right. I mean, you know, I was diagnosed with what they call moderate to severe persistent allergic asthma at a really, really young age. And so I've had it my entire life. It was something that I had to deal with. But, you know, everyone out there in Colorado knows when it gets this time of year, you know, you start sneezing, you start wheezing. And as I got older, I kind of got tired of having those asthma symptoms. So I went into my doctor and we talked about some different things that we could do, maybe add to my program. And one of those things is um, something that we're talking about today, which is a medication called Zolaire, um, and thank goodness to, you know, Novartis and Genentech, they're allowing me to, to make people aware that this is out there. So we talked to my doctor about it, and it ended up that, you know, I looked at the benefits, I looked at the risks, and it was a great option for me. Well, hopefully people can get an opportunity to check that out. You know, you talk about swimming in Colorado, and we always start with Amy Van Dyken, but this young girl has been on the radar for years now, and Missy Franklin is going to jump into the pool July in London, and uh, I, I'm sure you, like everyone, are expecting big things from her. Yeah, I, I am, absolutely. I actually ran into her not too long ago, and I told her, I said, there's no one up until this point who could break my record of winning more than four golds in one Olympics. And I said, I predict you to do it. So I told her, we got we to gotta keep it in the state. We got to keep it in Colorado. So she's going to do uh, just amazing things, and I'm really proud of her. She's just doing so well and handling herself amazing. No pressure, Amy. Just tell her to go out there and break all your records. No pressure. <laughs> That's right. She can do it. She's a, she's a big girl. She can handle it. What, what about that. I mean, you look at her for such a young age. She, uh, I mean, people have seen her since she was 12, 13 years old as being this caliber of athlete. Yeah, and that's really tough. I mean, it's tough to grow up, obviously, in the spotlight. Um, and she's had to do that. She's done a really great job, but, you know, she's got to understand that with that, you know, also come some great things and, you know, come some things that you got to look out for. And one of those great things is being able to talk about stuff that you believe in, like we're talking about, you know, Allergy Awareness Month coming up next month. So, you know, use it and uh, do great things with it. Well, hopefully uh, you will enjoy the Olympics. Missy will as well, and all of us will get to see some, uh, some great performances out there. Amy, it's great to see you again. Thanks for taking a few minutes to visit with us. Thanks so much, Tom. Thanks, Denver. <laughs> Good to see you again. Uh, and when Amy mentioned Tom, uh, she met her husband, yeah. Tom Ruin, former CU, CSU, and Broncos putter, Tom Ruin. You so, bet. Just so people know. Hi, Amy. Good to catch up with her. <laughs> yeah. yeah.